Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. In today's video, I've got my faves and fails for the month of October 2022 for you. So it was a really fun month, did a lot of good videos, did my skincare routine morning and night, did a dupes clothing video, did an all new makeup try on video, did a foundation Friday testing two foundations and also there were two big sales in the month of October, the Prime Days early holiday sale and the Sephora holiday event. So those were all videos that I hope that you had a chance to tune into. If you didn't, then definitely subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a video. So in today's video, I go over kind of the best and the worst of the month, the things that I discovered in videos as well as behind the scenes. I think what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm gonna put all the faves together at the front and then I'll do like the kind of middle of the road things that were neither a fave nor a horrible epic failure and then I'll do the fails at the end. Sound good? Sounds like a plan. Let's jump in. My new face Trinity is always a fave but this month it's especially a fave because Current Body offered me an exclusive discount code just for my viewers. It is the biggest discount that you can get on the new face Trinity anywhere. The Discount is for $135 off the full price New Face Trinity. So the price that you'll be getting it for is $205. And that is definitely the lowest price that I've ever seen the New Face Trinity for. It normally retails for $339. The best price that you can usually get it at is in the Nordstrom sale where it's $100 off. So this is $35 less than even you can get it in the Nordstrom sale. So that is a win. If you're thinking of getting one for holidays, if you're thinking of buying one for someone for a gift, then this is definitely the best price. I'll put all the pertinent information in the info box below the video. The Sephora sale is still going on and this is the last weekend of the Sephora sale. So wanted to recommend a few products from them. This is a limited edition product that is in their holiday collection. This is a wishing you eyeshadow palette and this is so cute. I think I saw on the website that this normally retails for $8, but the sale is for 30% off on everything in the Sephora collection. So 30% off of $8, what does that make this? Like a five, $6 palette? And it's like the perfect little palette. Look, it even has a mirror. How can they do that for that low of a price? I just love the look of this palette. It is so right up my alley. It's got just the perfect three little shimmers and then it's got five mattes and they are all so beautiful. I mean, it's everything that you need to make a perfect palette and that's actually what it's called is a perfect eye look. I'm wearing it on my eyes today and this is like the second or third look I've done with it. It's just such a beautiful and versatile palette. So definitely pick that one up for the 30% off at the Sephora sale. Some things that I discovered this month that I was gonna talk about anyway that are available in the Sephora sale for a discount. So one is the Smashbox Halo Tinted Moisturizer. I reviewed this one in the trying all new makeup video. And this was one of like the hero products of the video. It goes on the skin really nicely just with the fingers. So if you don't like to futz a lot with your makeup, it's really easy to apply and it looks really nice. It gives pretty good coverage. It's actually more like makeup-y I'd say than your standard tinted moisturizer. Uh, but the greatest thing about it was that it didn't settle into any wrinkles all day long and it stayed put pretty well. The only place that it wore off was right on the end of my nose, but everywhere else it stayed in place really, really well. So that is a really good one to check out if you're looking for a new tinted moisturizer type product. If you're going to ask me which I like better between that and like the Say Slip Tint, not really any contest. I love the Say Slip Tint. I'm wearing it today. I wear it most days. So that's something that you could pick up in the Sephora sale as well. That is a fantastic product. I've got some new makeup from Fenty to share with you. These will also be in the Sephora sale. The first one is their Fly Pencil Eyeliner. I love the packaging on this. It's like purple and like kind of softened rounded triangle shape, which, you know, neither here nor there. But I'll tell you what, I have the hardest time like locating my eyeliners on my desk. And this one, I can always pick it out of my bundle of eyeliners because it's so distinctive looking. So I love that about it. And this is a great eyeliner. I've been wearing this for a couple of weeks now. This is the most beautiful, just subtle, soft gray color. If you're a beauty insider with Sephora, you can get a discount right now, but it's a mechanical pencil. Here's the shade of it. It's just a really nice gray. And I like a gray for my lower lash line. This lasts all day. It's waterproof. Tried a couple of Fenty lip products. This one is the Slip 
What is this called? Slip Something Lipstick. Um, this is really nice. This is a super balmy lipstick and it is the most beautiful color. I'm not wearing it today because um, I'm wearing a drugstore lippy that I wanted to share with you, but this is really nice. This is kind of the one that I've been carrying in my purse. This is so moisturizing. I can't say it's the most long lasting lipstick, but it doesn't run up into my lip lines either. It kind of stays put. It feels really creamy, feels nice on, so I have been loving that. And then I also got kind of a similar shade, but in a lip gloss. So this is the Pro Kisser Luscious Lip Balm in Pinch Me. This is a very, very pigmented lip gloss and that's what I like about it. I like something that has some pigment but it's not like a sticky lip gloss. This one is the gloss over here and this is the lipstick. They're both very sheer products. They're both very, very hydrating and I really enjoyed both of them this month. But the lippy that I have on was what I consider to be like the find of the month. It's these Maybelline Superstay Vinyl Ink Lipsticks. These are awesome. I actually bought three of them. I tried on this uh, peachy one in the trying all new makeup video. It was perfect for like the fall look that I was doing in that. I did like a fall look, was wearing like an orange sweater and this was perfect with it. This stays on all day. It stays exactly where you put it. Doesn't migrate up into your lip lines. It doesn't dry down. You know how a lot of these uh, all day lipsticks, they dry down and they make your lips feel and look so dry and cracked. This doesn't really set to a dry feeling. It actually stays a little bit tacky all day. Like when I drink, a little bit of it will come off like on a cup, but it doesn't come off all over everything. It stays all day. I put it on in the morning. I eat lunch, eat dinner, have a cup of tea, you know, all the things. And by the end of the day, it's still on, the color's still there, and my lips didn't feel dry. So love all three of these shades. Okay, last makeup faves are gonna be some of the new brushes from BK Beauty. They launched an extension to their original line, and so these are their precision brushes. So they launched five face brushes and I think four eyeshadow brushes. And I've been playing with them all over the last couple of weeks since they launched, and I gotta say I've like discovered a few brushes that I really love and that are really great additions to my brush collection, so I wanted to tell you about those. I'd have to say my favorite of these is this small angled brush. This is the 112 brush. This is kind of a mini version of my A507 blush brush. Like you can see that they are kind of the same shape, right, sideways and front ways, but this one is a lot smaller. So where this one is perfect for doing your blush and getting that nice big, you know, rosy cheek. The 112, this smaller one, this is perfect for like doing your contour or your highlighting. I used it for contour today. I could really just place my bronzer right there at the bottom of my cheekbone where I want it. And I'm not using like a big fluffy brush so it's not going all over the place. I can just really carve out that cheekbone, put a little bit here, you know, on the uh, saggy jowlies, did a little nose contouring. It just keeps your bronzer very tight and very close to where you want it. And so you don't end up with bronzer all over the place. So really love that one. I think I'm gonna have to order another one of these because I wanna use it for highlighter as well. I think this would be like a really perfect little highlighter brush. The other ones that I really like are the 113. This I've been using to put on my under eye setting powder. This is like the perfect size just to set and it's Nice and dense. I kind of like a little bit of a denser, less fluffy brush to set under my eyes because it really just presses the powder right in where I want it, but it doesn't go like all over my face. I always like to mattify my upper lip and most of the brushes I have are just like too big for there. So this just fits perfectly right there because you know, I don't want to like look like I have a sweaty upper lip. I'm getting a kick out of this one. This is their 109 brush. This is like if the BK101 and my A506 had a baby, right? Because <laughs> my A506 is like the mini version that fits perfectly right to do your concealer. And the 101, of course, is my all-time favorite foundation brush. 
So this is kind of like an in-between size brush. So again, great for getting like putting on your foundation, but getting it into like the smaller places, like your upper lip, doing like your detail work, like really close right up here to the edge of your lip. As always, all the BK brushes are so soft and so beautiful. And then of the eyeshadow brushes, I really like this little 210 brush. This is like the tiny, tiniest, tiniest little smudger slash eyeshadow brush. Uh, so it's kind of similar to my 504 brush, which is my tiny crease brush, but it's a lot stiffer and a lot shorter. So you can see the difference between those two. So mine's great for really like smoking out the outer corner, but getting your eyeshadow to kind of blend while you apply it. This one's great for just doing like the tiniest little detail work at the outer corner. Like let's say you just wanna add like the tiniest little bit of a dark color, like a black or really dark brown out there. This is perfect for that. Also for eyeshadow under your eyes. It's so nice and stiff and pointy that you can really get pencil point precision with this brush. So I really, really love this one. All right, let's talk a little fashion. Next, I found a dupe pair of pants for the Spanx pants. I showed you those Spanx pants in my fall lookbook and I love these pants. I've been wearing them constantly. They are, I have to say, worth every single penny. I've never had a pair of pants that are so easy to throw on, that fit so beautifully, that look so great, and that repel animal hair, which is, I think, one of the main reasons that I love them so much. But you know, they have the magical Spanx fabric that, you know, sucks you in and holds everything up and makes your booty look good and makes your thighs look great, makes your hips look great, and just, you know, they make everything look great. They're very high-waisted, they're very long, but they're a flare, but the proportions are perfect. But you guys wanted a dupe for them, so I found you a dupe. So the dupe pants are these pants, and these give a very, very similar look. The fabric is very similar. The fabric content is very similar. It uses just about the same three fibers. This has the same weight as the Spanx. They're stretchy like the Spanx, so they will give you a little bit of that holding in and pushing up effect, which is great. Not quite as good as the Spanx, but you know, there is a reason that the Spanx are so much is because they are so good. And these were $49.99. This is a little bit different from the Spanx because these do have a fly. They have a pocket, they have belt loops, they have, uh, but they don't have a back pocket. And the other difference is they don't have a seam on the front. So both pants come in petites, regulars, and talls, and both come in extended sizing. Another thing that I featured in that video were these booties. Oh my gosh, you guys, I got these booties a few weeks ago, and I put them in there as a dupe for like this other pair of booties that I had from last year that were $170. These are under 90. Aren't they so cool? I just love these. I love this super pointy toe. I love a sock booty. I think it, they just go with everything. They go with your dresses. They go with your crop pants. They go with like trousers. They make jeans look cool. They just look great with everything. I had about five or six affordable outfits in that video. So of course I can link that video for you right up here. I just wanted to share the sweater I'm wearing today. This is just a real basic sweater, but it's working for me today. I'm so happy I have it because have you noticed my neck? Have you notice how like red and angry it is? <laughs> I wore something with a collar yesterday and oh my God, I only had it on for, I don't know, three hours to go out to dinner in. And by the time I got home, my neck was on fire. And so today I have to wear things that are like keeping way far away from my neck. So I was so happy to have this big scoop neck sweater. This is just like a really plain basic sweater. It's ribbed, you know, long sleeves like sweaters do, kind of hits mid hip. I wanted to mention this necklace as well. This is really pretty. It's a three strand necklace. I love it that it has these little triangular sparkly elements on it. And then it's got the big triangle with like a crystal in the middle. It's just really pretty. I had been looking for a silver layered necklace to wear with my gray things and just loving that one. I have a random thing to show you that is a new love that doesn't really fit in any of the categories that I have here today, but you know that I love a good cleaning product, right? I'm always telling you guys about my adventures in cleaning because, um, you know, I clean my own house and I like to make it easier on myself to do it. You guys know that I love my Shark Steam Mop and that has been a favorite of mine for, I don't know, seven years I've been using that thing. 
And I saw online that they have kind of a new version of it where instead of you just pushing it back and forth like that, it has these round mop heads that rotate. I've used this twice already and look how dirty these things are. I actually need to take them off and throw them in the wash because that's how this is. You just Velcro them on, you take them off and you just throw them right in the wash. It's so much easier to push around than my shark steam mop because it spins, it almost moves by itself. And you kind of feel like the janitor at the elementary school doing the floors with this thing because it's kind of similar to that thing, except now it's for home. And the thing that I've always loved about the steam mop over you know, regular mopping is that you don't have to use any kind of cleaning product on your floors. I just like the idea of steam. It cleans, it sanitizes, and you're not adding anything that's gonna build up. Plus, where I have lots of different flooring surfaces, I have hardwood, I have tile, you can't use the same cleaning product for hardwood that you can for tile. So I just like to kind of avoid the whole floor cleaning product issue and just clean with steam. I love steam. And I gotta say, it's fun. Like. Anything that can help make my cleaning fun so I look forward to doing it, I am all for it. All right, so let's move on to skincare. I put up both my skincare routine videos over the month, the morning and the evening. We'll link them both up top for you. And um, there were a couple of new products that I did work into my skincare routine. There are some things that are gone from my skincare routine that I'm really surprised about. But, you know, what are you going to do? Things come and things go. But one of the new things that I really, really love is this Derma E Sensitive Skin Cleanser. How long have I been using the same cleanser, the Neutrogena? Hydro Boost, right? I've been using that probably for minimum five years. You know, it's hard to rip things out of my hands. I try so much skincare. People send me stuff all the time. I try it, I'm like, nope, not as good as my Neutrogena Hydro Boost. Nope, not as good as my Clinique. This one came along and this is great. I really, really like it. And then another new thing in my skincare routine is this Pacifica Vegan Ceramide Cream. I'm using this as my morning ceramide cream. So this is replacing my CeraVe cream, which, you know, I've been using that for 10 solid years and I don't have a problem with it. I still love it, but it, it is a little shiny on my face and it's a very lightweight moisturizer. And I've just felt very much like my skin just needed more hydration this year, even in the morning. So this is a thicker cream. It's a little bit more emollient, but it also dries to more of a matte finish, which I like. It doesn't ball and pill. It works really well with all my other things. And it's got all the same ingredients as the CeraVe. It's got the niacinamide, the glycerin, the ceramides, and the hyaluronic acid. Um, so you're getting all the same stuff. It is a good price point. I tried another moisturizer that I would consider to be a dupe for the CeraVe PM, and that is the Elf Your Skin Moisturizer with oat milk, ceramides, and niacinamide. So this also has the same ingredients as the uh, CeraVe and as the Pacifica. So it's got niacinamide, ceramides, glycerin, hyaluronic acid, and it's a really nice little moisturizer. So this is 2.5 ounces, so it's smaller than what you get with the CeraVe, and I'm not sure what the price difference is. I mean, e.l.f. tends to be pretty inexpensive, so but if you didn't like the CeraVe PM for any reason, here are two really good options. There's a product that I wanted to talk about that I keep meaning to talk about and I keep forgetting every month. You know, I love the Timeless 20% vitamin C serum, but I keep forgetting to tell you guys that they make a 10%. This is an ascorbic acid based vitamin C serum with the ferulic acid and the vitamin E, and it's formulated at the correct pH. But this has 10% vitamin C in it so that if your skin is sensitive, if you're never able to use the 20% product, this will be a little gentler on your skin. So if you had ever tried the 20% and couldn't use it, then definitely give the 10% a try. Then one thing I wanted to show you that is so funny for me to talk about but I'm gonna assume that we all get a pimple from time to time. And you know what's really funny is that every time I go to film my skincare routine, I have a giant zit that morning. And I'm like, it's just some weird karma. And sure enough, the morning I wanted to film, I woke up with like a giant zit right here. I was like, why? But I had just gotten this in PR and these are like little pimple patches. And these things are amazing. And basically what they are is just sheets of little stickers and you peel off one of these tiny tiny little stickers don't know if you can even see them you peel one off you place it on your pimple you wear it there 
for eight hours. I slept in it, so I decided not to film that day. I was like, let me give this a try and see if it works. And the next day, I woke up, peeled the thing off, and that sucker was gone. I'm like, where were you when I was 20, 30, 35, 40? Well, at least they have them now. So anyway, if you do have the occasional pimple, these things, amazing. Did I say what they're called? Hero Mighty Patch. That's it for the faves. Let's move into the maybes. So I did that one foundation Friday where I put the House Labs by Lady Gaga Tri-Clone Skin Tech Foundation head-to-head -head against the Hourglass Ambient Soft Glow Foundation. I think they were both like meh for me. I felt like there were better things. They both looked beautiful at first when I first applied them, but as the day wore on, they both got shiny, but they both accentuated texture and they both didn't last very well is what I remember about it. But if you really wanna see the full review, it's in one video, two for one. It's like a two for, so we'll link that up there and you can check that one out. So here's an interesting hair product that I didn't love, but I didn't hate. It is the Redken Acidic Bonding Concentrate. This is really interesting. It's got 14% citric acid, sort of a washout intense conditioning thing that is supposed to sleekify and defrizz your hair. This also comes with a whole system shampoo and conditioner, but this guy alone was 30 bucks. And then I feel like the shampoo and the conditioner were each another 30. So it's like 90 for the whole outlay, which I didn't want to do. So I thought I'd just try it by itself, which I did. And it actually worked. Like it did make my hair less frizzy, but it only lasted for like a day. The way you use this is first you wet your hair, then you put it on then you leave it on for 10 minutes. So you wash your hair after. Um, so it just added like this extra time where you had to get in the shower, wet your hair, then either stand in the shower for a full 10 minutes with this on there, which that's a lot of wasted water and a lot of standing around shivering for me. So I didn't like that. So I wet my hair in the sink, I put this on, blah, blah, blah. I didn't enjoy how you use it, but it did seem to work. So I didn't mind it. So if you have super frizzy hair and you're looking to fight that, this line, could be something that you might want to give a try. Okay, this next product is one that I'm not sure how I feel about it, but I wanted to let you guys know about it because some of you have mentioned a specific complaint about the LED masks, and it seems to be universal for all the LED masks, is that they don't have lights on the upper lip part. Some people have said that they wish that there was either bulbs there or something that they could just spot treat around their mouth because that's where their wrinkles are. So I received this product in PR and when I first opened it, I felt a little funky about it, but I thought of you guys who really are concerned about that area and want some red LED tech for there, and that's what this is. So on its face, I'm like, yeah, this is cool. Look, you press the button, the light comes on. It's a red light thing just for your lips. The thing that makes me a little weirded out about it is the pacifier. <laughs> so, I mean, I guess they had to figure out how do you get it to stay in people's mouths and how do you do it? You give them something to either clamp their teeth down on or clamp their lips down around. And so it's got like this little pacifier thing. It comes with a cute little magnetized charging cradle for it to sit in. So that's awesome. Comes with a cable. And it definitely has the light bulbs right there where you need them. I believe it's only a three minute treatment. It's got four different wavelengths of light. It's got red, amber, deep red, and near infrared. Red light it helps to boost collagen. It helps to increase collagen density and it helps to increase blood circulation to the area. So if you have like extra wrinkly lip area, you might wanna give this a try. I'm sure that Current Body will give me a discount code for that, which I'll put in the info box along with the link to this little product. All right, I had a couple of makeup fails this month. The one that was the most disappointing to me was the Sephora Best Skin Ever. You know, the Best Skin Ever Foundation is one of my holy grail foundations. But when they came out with a concealer, I was so psyched because I thought it was gonna be like perfection, no settling your wrinkles. It does give really great coverage. It does look so smooth and beautiful when you first put it on and for like the first four hours that you wear it. But by the five hour check-in and the 10 hour check-in, it was completely um, caked up in my wrinkles, really cracked looking, had worn off at the inner corners, just didn't wear well. So I was really sad about that. That was a bummer. And then this, I didn't try in a video. This is the Ico Beach Waterproof Mascara. I think this came in PR, but I had seen some influencing around it. Um, I didn't love it. This isn't my kind of mascara. Like it's definitely kind of, you know, 
more chunky looking than I like. If you want a truly waterproof mascara that will not come off, then you might love this, but this was so hard to get off. Like, you know, I do a double cleanse and this would not come off. Next one was a failure on my part. So I wanna to talk to you guys about the turtle airplane pillow. I had bought my turtle pillow for sleeping on an airplane before pandemic and then COVID hit and I didn't travel for two years. And so I had it packed away. And when I started traveling again this year, I broke it out and I took it on both my trips and I love the thing. And I came back raving about it, especially from the Greece trip, which is like an overnight flight. So I recommend it to you guys. And then I start getting like complaints about it and people are like, I, this is different. This is not what you showed. The one you showed had these like cranks on it and this is not the same. So I'm like, uh oh, what happened? So I go on and I order one and you're right. This is not anything like the turtle pillow that I recommended to you guys. So uh, my apologies, I didn't realize that they had changed it. The padding on this isn't even hardly any padding. Like the padding on the one that I have is like double or triple the thickness of this. They had gotten rid of the crank up dials. It's not the same, it's not good, it's not comfy, it's not anything like the other one. So please return them. And that brings us to the end of everything that I had to show you in today's faves and fails for October. So I hope you found the video helpful and informative. Links to everything, both faves and fails, will be in the info box below the video for quick and easy shopping. I hope you found the video helpful and informative. If you did, give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. As always, I thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate you watching. Have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Take care everybody, bye-bye.